Hey guys! So, in the last month I've actually been shopping quite a lot, mainly because I was in need of, like, several specific things and I had birthday money, so, like, I thought I would do a little bit of a collective haul of all of the things that I've purchased recently, because that's a thing that people like seeing, you know. Just a few beauty products. We'll start with those, just a few. Um, the first being a uh, champagne pop because uh, uh, it's so pretty. Uh, like it's so fucking pretty. Look at it, look at it. This is a great video starting off. Yeah. And then I did actually go to a shop in Fremont which I had never been before and I'd heard about online. Um, it's a store called Aesop. Um, I've mainly only heard about it from, like, bloggers and YouTubers that spend way too much money on their skincare. Um, but uh, I thought I would go and check it out, and I bought one of their Resurrection Aromatic Hand Balms, and this one is in the fragrance, um, it's got like mandarin, rosemary, and cedarwood, so it's like naturally antibacterial and antimicrobial, so that's cool. I like it, it smells good. I don't know, it doesn't feel sticky at all, which is nice. Um, and then I also bought um, this Rosehip Seed Lip Cream, which I'm not entirely sure how I feel about yet. I might have just not used it in the right way yet. Um, but it's like a lip balm treatment. It's more of like a lotion that soaks in pretty quickly and leaves like a matte finish. I've worn it underneath like the matte lip liquid things and it just felt really dry, so. I don't know how I feel about it yet, so that's another thing for myself that I got. And in Seattle a couple of weeks ago, they had something called the Punk Rock Flea Market that I went to, and I was pretty stoked about it, mainly because it gave me an excuse to go to Capitol Hill because I generally don't go to Capitol Hill, so. One thing that I bought was from a vendor that I've seen at multiple like street fairs before, um, but this guy hand paints records and does kind of like spray paint art. But this is a Chewy Bigfoot record. The record is just like some fucking thing in Russian, so. But I put this on my wall and it looks pretty cool, so. Chewy! And then I got a bunch of jewelry. I can get this out of here. Eh. So I found this other seller who did prints, which I bought one of her prints. Um, it looks like this. Um, I will link you guys all to like the stores and the sellers in the description below if you feel like checking them out. Um, but I thought this one was super cool and I could put it on my wall or out in my living room. I don't know. But I also bought a pin from her, which is sparkly. You can see that. It's like shimmery. Like look at that. Look at, look at that. It's got like sequins and stuff on it. Things! I'm a huge fan of pins lately, if you hadn't noticed. If you've seen my denim jacket. I also bought this cool little guy. It is a beetle pin. It's got two backings, which is actually really nice because it makes it extra secure. Because a lot of times I find with enamel pins, you're like spending more on like a nice quality pin, like anywhere from like eight to twelve dollars. And if it only has one backing, you're kind of fucked. So this one I really, really liked. I'm going to put it either on like lapels or collars or just stick it on my denim jacket. I don't really know. And then this pin I didn't actually get from the Punk Rock Flea Market, but I bought it in downtown Seattle. Uh, this shark pin I got at Elliott Bay Books up in Capitol Hill. I thought it was super cool. It has kind of like a opalescent, like, kind of like a oyster shell type look on it. I don't know, I like sharks. Sharks are really cool. And then actually I'll just put these on because I'm not wearing any earrings at the moment. Um, I got these earrings. I'll just show you. It's like a little hand pounded moon. Um, and I think this one was brass. I think this one was a brass pair. I thought they were super cool and um, I bought it from a lady who made it with her hands, so that's nice. That's all the things from the Pug Rock Flea Market. Um, I did also go to something called the Badwell Market, which is just like, like a vintage pop-up shop thing. Um, and I bought a fucking kimono. 
So like that's a thing that I own now. I'll put it on. That doesn't look dumb at all. It's just stripes and then another pattern. Stripes go with everything. Kind of, not really, I don't know. This is a lot of look right now, to be totally honest. I feel like Mrs. Robinson. Speaking of sharks, um, I bought a pair of socks with sharks on them from the brand Sock It To Me. I will gladly take a sponsorship from Sock It To Me. If Sock It To Me sends me socks, I will talk about them in like every video because I fucking love their socks. Ooh, my light just moved. That's fun. A pair of camera socks, um, which I have worn, so that's why they are got stuff on them. I only wish that these weren't white, but whatever. Um, camera socks, those are fun. They're men's socks, but I don't give a shit. A pair of pineapple socks, because pineapples. Yeah, pineapple socks, pineapple socks. I cannot find the other one of these socks. I'm assuming it's at the bottom of my laundry hamper. Donuts. Donuts. I bought a pair of shoes also. My black plain booties were on their last leg. The heels were like completely falling apart. So I went to Nordstrom Rack and tried on like 8 million pairs of boots the other day. And I walked away with these, but it's got this cool little V on the side of it that like is the stretchy bits. Here, I'll show you. But I didn't realize until I walked away and looked inside, they're Jeffrey Campbell's and I got them for like $32. I love designer shoes, getting them for cheap. And then I bought a new record. The new Paws record. I finally purchased it from a record store. I was finally able to get my hands on it. This is the back. It's got the whole little line, the list on it. Um, I love this so much. I want to see them come back to Seattle very soon. Um, but yeah, it's real good. It is real good. And then the Cootie Gras. Let me put my socks behind me. I was given some things by Adore Me this online shop that does like bras and sleepwear and lingerie and underwear and like hosiery and stuff. It's just like general feminine undergarments. And uh, they contacted me and I did a little thing for Snapchat. I don't know if you guys follow me on Snapchat, but if you do, you probably saw it. If you don't, please follow me on Snapchat because like I snap a lot, you know? So like they gave me stuff and I'm gonna show you the stuff I got. We'll start with the least least risque. This pair, I don't remember what pair it is, what it's called, but I will put a link to it in the thing. Um, it reminds me of like a little forest fairy. It's very like fairy-esque. Super soft fabric and it's like not seamless, but it, it kind of fits like a seamless on the butt cheeks. And then the other pair I got these were just like standalone like underwear. I got more underwear as part of sets, but more of that in a minute. This pair, if I can get this to turn inside out because I tried them on, um, is super cute. And it's got like a lacy back. I don't know. I thought they were real pretty and like sexy, but like classy, I don't know. I'm not one for just like wearing thongs just for the sake of wearing thongs. Cause it's like, I don't know, I like the feeling of fabric on my ass. Not gonna lie, as long as it's comfortable fabric. As long as it's not denim. As much as I love denim, I don't want denim on my butt. Okay. And then this top, which I wore in the snap story. Eh, if I can fold, unfold this. It is a corset. Ooh, okay. It looks like this. And, uh, oh wait, is that the bottom? This is the bottom. That's the top. They look the same on the top and the bottom. Um, but yeah, super pretty, adorable corset top that I will be able to wear maybe with like jackets, like a de like not a denim. Well, actually it would probably look cute with a denim jacket or like a leather jacket and like a skirt or some jeans. I don't know, real cute. And it actually fits around my boobaluses. I bought a lot of bras recently. Um, also this bra, 
because I went to Nordstrom Rack and super cute and it actually fits me and it was under $30 so why people with my size chest go to Victoria's Secret I don't know because you never get sexy bras also this this one you can't really you can kind of see I don't really want to like pull out my boob but it's got like a cute fabric on it Look at the cute fabric. And then another one that's dirty. But yeah, I bought three bras at Nordstrom Rack, a sports bra at another time, and then a bra let it tore it, and then I got a bunch of free lingerie. So, speaking of the free lingerie, this little teddy dress thingy was another thing I got from Adore Me. Um, I'm just gonna put it around my head. Goes like this. It's like a little dress. That's super cute like ties around the back obviously it wouldn't just be something you would wear out uh, I also got this with the corset that's a thing and then I got this with that little dress which just is like I mean there is zero function in this it puts the fun in function but the last thing I got uh, I'm just gonna like show it real quick because otherwise I might blush because this is not something that you would wear for any sort of function other than if you want to actually have fun times but keep something on at the same time so there's that and there you go and cool <laughs> yeah I think that's it honestly if I keep going I'm just gonna like just find more things in my room that I've bought and then I'm just gonna feel bad that I spent so much money in the last couple months because I'm down to like $45 in my bank account right now. But I'm fine. Song of the day though, because I haven't done one of those in quite a long time, I apologize. Completely forgot about it. Song of the day is Gild the Lily by Pause. It's on Spotify, so I will link you guys too if the song's not otherwise readily available on the internet. That's real good, it's real nice. Yeah, check out the song. I will post links to all the stores that I bought things from below. Um, follow me on Snapchat, on Instagram. I post on those way more often. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you feel the need to. Tell your friends about the me. Yeah, I'm good at this. I'm real. <laughs> so good. And if you want to check out my last video, it was my thoughts from Sasquatch video. Um, I love doing those every single year, and this year was no different. Uh, took me a long time to get it up. I realized that I posted it a lot later than I usually do, but whatever. Um, leave me questions for a Q&A that I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. I'm just accumulating questions at this point. So I've been talking way too long and this light is getting really hot in my room. So I have to turn it off. So yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.